Joelle Joanny Jojo Siwa needs no introduction. The bow-loving teenager from Omaha, Nebraska catapulted to stardom with two successive seasons of Dance Moms, along with her mother Jessalyn in 2015. Since then, she's come a long way. She is now a famous YouTube personality with over 11 million followers, mostly young teens. She is also an entrepreneur now, owning a brand worth millions of dollars. Her dance performances, along with her offstage antics, are truly a sight to behold. At 17 years old, JoJo holds the distinction of being the youngest female artist to have a music video surpass 900 million views on YouTube. This brings us to the top 10 interesting things you probably didn't know about JoJo Siwa. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe and turn the notifications on to get early access to all our exciting videos. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number 10, the secret behind Siwa and her bows. The one thing that all of JoJo's fans know about her is that Bobo Siwa star absolutely loves bows. The teenage sensation jokes that her mom kind of stuck the bows on her hair when she was born, and as she got older, the bows just kept growing bigger. <laughs> Grow them up, Siwa! Jojo owns over 1,000 bows and uses them as a symbol to promote the message of kindness and equality. So much is her obsession with bows that she even created her own line of bow merch that are available at stores like Claire's and Justice. She is said to have sold over 40 million bows just in the year of 2018 to her Siwanators, generating hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue in the process. Her bows found a strong following among primary school pupils in the United Kingdom and were ultimately subject to bans, as teachers discovered that students unable to afford the bows, which retail for approximately 8 to 12 pounds each, were bullied by their peers. Other reasons these schools gave for the bans was that they were a distraction, harmed students' concentration, and violated the school's dress code policies. Number 9. JoJo's Debut Born on May 19, 2003, to Jessalyn Siwa, who was a professional dance instructor, we knew JoJo had dance in her genes. A lot of you might know JoJo from her Dance Mom days in 2015, but did you know that Dance Moms was not where JoJo made her television debut? JoJo first appeared in Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition way back in the year 2013. She appeared on the second season of the show with her mother, Jessalyn, and ended up being one of the top five finalists of that season. She was also the youngest contestant to participate in that season and was widely appreciated for her performances throughout her stay in the show. Number 8. Talent Deal with Nickelodeon Owing to JoJo's tremendous popularity as a teen sensation amongst kids, the number one kids network, Nickelodeon, offered her a talent deal in the year 2017. Nickelodeon worked with Siwa on various platforms like consumer products, original programming, social media, live events, and music. Nick also arranged for a brand new documentary style special show that gave the users an exclusive look inside JoJo's life. She also has an animated online series about her and her dog Bobo's fictional adventures titled The JoJo and Bobo Show. She also appeared in Nickelodeon's Sizzling Summer Camp Special and School of Rock. In addition, Nickelodeon debuted a second season of Lip Sync Battle's Shorties that was co-hosted by Siwa. Number 7. Siwa's Business Empire Arguably, Siwa's main career is as a singer, but what differentiates her from the earlier child stars is the relative composure of her pursuits and her business ventures. Jojo has a merchandising deal with the tween retailer Claire's. She has sold over 80 million hair bows. Amazon has more than six pages of official Jojo products. Jojo's closet, consumer products lines are available at Walmart and Target. She also has an overall talent deal signed with Nickelodeon. And she's only 17. Given the depth of her involvement in these business ventures, it's hard to believe that the singing star will soon manage to outgrow her brand. Number 6. Bobo Siwa's pet Bobo is a teacup Yorkie. Jojo bought Bobo on January 2016, and since then, Bobo has become an icon among Jojo's fans. When Jojo is not managing her super successful bow business or being a multi-platform superstar, 
she is likely to be found at home, oozing all her love to Bobo. Bibi is said to have been given that name after Jojo's bow obsession turned business, Bobo. Although Bibi can be seen appearing regularly on JJ's Instagram account and YouTube channel, however, Bibi owns her own identity thanks to her dorky dog mom, as JJ likes to call herself. Through her at its Bobo Siwa handle, Bibi entertains as many as 1 million followers wearing catchy costumes and fancy bows. Number 5. Net Worth As of 2020, Jojo Siwa's net worth is believed to be around $12 million. In February 2020, Jojo bought a 6,111 square foot, $3.5 million home in the LA suburb of Tarzana, California. The six bedroom mansion's rainbow and candy themed interiors captivated Siwa's online audience. As an entrepreneur, she has built a brand worth millions of dollars. It is estimated that Jojo makes around $9 million from her YouTube channel alone. Reports have revealed that Jojo's 2019 tour earned her $26.9 million, which got split between her and her two touring partners, Nickelodeon and Party City. The overall net worth could be way more than these figures since it isn't publicly known as to how much Jojo actually earned from her popular hair bow sales. Number 4. Films Jojo recently landed a new movie role. According to news reports, she is all set to star in the new film Bounce, which is based on Megan Schul's book of the same name. The film will be produced by Will Smith and James Lasseter, along with Paramount Pictures. The movie will follow a teenage girl who wishes she could trade her family for a new one on Christmas Eve. This will be the first time Jojo will work for a film since lending her voice to the character Jay in Angry Birds Movie 2. Hey everyone, it's Jojo and I have a question for you. Do you want a sneak peek at my new movie? Wait, wait a minute. Of course you do. Let's do it. In 2018, Siwa made her first film debut in Nickelodeon's Blurt and received the animated treatment alongside her beloved teacup Yorkie with the Jojo and Bobo show. The movie managed to gather mixed responses from the audience. Few of them even criticized Jojo for her lack of experience of acting skills. Number 3. Television Siwa gained national attention when she appeared on the second season of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, a show judged by Dance Mom star and formidable dance instructor Abby Lee Miller. After appearing on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, Siwa and her mother began auditioning for Miller's dance team, the Abby Lee Dance Company. During the audition process, they made their debut on Dance Moms, the wildly popular reality show. Following the young dancers in the company as they navigated the world of competitive dance and ambitious stage parents, Siwa was selected to join the team in 2015 and appeared with Jessalyn on two seasons of Dance Moms. She also appeared on Inside Boys. Number 2. Jojo, the author Siwa has been an inspiration to kids and young teenagers, and the fact that she writes to positively influence young minds is worth applauding. Throughout her music, videos, and through her writings, she is trying to reach out to youngsters in every possible way. JJ first wrote a book called Jojo's Guide to the Sweet Life in 2017. She next wrote a modern generation's version of a real-life Cinderella story, Nebraska Girl Becomes Hollywood's Belle of the Ball, thanks to her spunky attitude and creative drive. Through the lens of Jojo's personal experience and playful voice, she digs into themes such as finding your passion, keeping strong in the face of adversity, appreciating your individualism, the importance of being loyal, and never giving up. By the looks of it, she is well on her way to becoming a best-selling author. Go, go, Jojo! Number 1. YouTube Siwa began posting videos to her YouTube channel in 2015, beginning with the occasional Q&As for avid Dance Moms fans and working up to internet challenges and more expertly edited vlogs. Within three years, Siwa was one of the most followed people on the platform. Her main channel, which features celebrity collabs, tours of her residences, and kitchen experiments, among other projects, currently boasts 11.6 million subscribers, and her videos have received a total of 2 billion views. Her digital debut single, Boomerang, was an instant hit and has been viewed over 900 million times on YouTube to date. In fact, in 2018, Jojo Siwa was named as the Breakout Artist of the Year by Vivid Seats. After originally rising to fame with the YouTube channel, Jojo Siwa Vlogs, the entertainer split her YouTube presence into two channels, Jojo Siwa Music and It's Jojo Siwa. 
the latter one featuring clips from everyday life that included one in which she lets a two-year-old cut her hair and another one that shows her creating a slime factory at home using arts and crafts. Siwa is said to be the sole creative force behind her videos, with her mom, who serves as her manager, assisting by the way of her driving around town to pick up supplies. In one of her latest shows, Jojo was seen babysitting Northwest. Yes, Kim and Kanye's Northwest in a video collaboration. Talk about two different worlds colliding. So, what are your thoughts? What did you think of all these facts about Jojo Siwa and her crazy teenage stories? Do you think she could become the best teenage music sensation that we've ever had? Do you think she'll be able to promote equality and kindness with her ever-growing bow? And do you think she needs to buy more bows? Would you like to become one of her Siwanators? What do you think her status will be in the time to come? Do you have a message for Jojo? Let us know in the comments below. Did you like this video? Please hit the like button if you did so that we can bring more exciting videos to you. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel. Goodbye. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.